Hi, in this video I'll be discussing about nerve innervation to tongue. The reason why this topic is a bit confusing and complex is because of the fact that different parts of tongue have different sources or origin. So once we understand or trace out the origin of different parts of tongue including its musculature, it will be easier for us to remember or understand the nerve innervation to tongue. So before going into the details, let's briefly look into the parts of a tongue. We have this body or anterior two-thirds of tongue. We have this posterior one-third of tongue and the posterior most part of the tongue. The epithelium covering the entire tongue has different sources or origin. The epithelium covering the anterior two-thirds of tongue has its origin from the first branchial arch. Whereas the epithelium covering the posterior one-third has its origin from the third branchial arch. And the epithelium covering the posterior most has its origin from fourth branchial arch. So, as we all know, each branchial arch has its own respective nerve, has its own respective muscle, has its own respective blood vessel. So depending upon the origin of these parts of epithelium from their respective branchial arches, we have different innervations. So now let's briefly look into the nerve innervation of tongue. For the anterior two-thirds of tongue, sensory supply is by lingual nerve. So this lingual nerve is a branch of mandibular division of trigeminal nerve. And for the posterior one-third, that is for this area, the general sensation is carried out by glossopharyngeal nerve which is a ninth cranial nerve. And for the posterior most part of the tongue, the general sensation is carried out by internal laryngeal branch of vagus which is a 10th cranial nerve. So, in brief, the general sensation for the anterior two-third is by the lingual nerve, which is a branch of uh, trigeminal nerve. And for the posterior one-third, general sensation is by glossopharyngeal nerve. And for the posterior most part, the general sensation is by internal laryngeal branch of vagus nerve. Now, coming to taste sensations, we have an exception here. For the anterior two-thirds of the tongue, so for this entire area, the taste sensation is carried out by corda tympani. So this corda tympani is a branch of facial nerve. So in the anterior two-thirds, taste sensation is carried out by corda tympani except for this circumvallet papilla. For the posterior one-third of the tongue, the taste sensation is carried out by the same glossopharyngeal nerve including circumvallate papilla. So for this posterior one-third, taste sensation is carried out by the same nerve which carries out general sensations that is glossopharyngeal nerve including the circumvallate papilla. And for the posterior most part of the tongue, the taste sensation as well as the general sensations are carried out by the same internal laryngeal branch of vagus nerve. So these are in brief about the general sensations and taste sensations of the entire tongue. So apart from this we have musculature. As tongue is a soft organ without any bones it is made up of two types of muscles broadly that is intrinsic muscles as well as extrinsic muscles. So all muscles of tongue are innervated by hypoglossal nerve. So the muscles of tongue are innervated by hypoglossal nerve that is a 12th cranial nerve because these muscles have their origin from occipital myotomes. So since the muscles of tongue have their origin from occipital myotomes, their innervation is chiefly by the hypoglossal nerve. However, we have an exception here. Except for one muscle, one extrinsic muscle that is palatoglossus, whose innervation is mainly by the accessory nerve. So palatoglossus nerve has its innervation from cranial part of accessory nerve because it has its origin from the mesoderm of sixth branchial arch. So this is in brief the innervation of the entire tongue. To summarize, the epithelium of tongue has its innervations depending upon the part it is located in. 
for the anterior two thirds the general sensation is by the lingual nerve that is a branch of mandibular division of trigeminal nerve whereas the taste sensation is by the chorda tympani which is a branch of facial nerve except for circumvallate papilla so these circumvallate papilla along with posterior one third of tongue are innervated by glossopharyngeal nerve or ninth cranial nerve and the posterior most part of the tongue has its general and taste sensations derived from internal laryngeal branch of vagus nerve and coming to the musculature all the muscles of tongue have their origin from occipital myotomes hence innervated by hypoglossal nerve except for palatoglossus whose origin is from the mesoderm of sixth branchial arch hence it is innervated by the cranial part of accessory nerve so once you understand the origin of any part of tongue it will be easier for you to remember the respective innervation so this is in brief about a nerve innervation to tongue